Hey guys, uh, my name is Larneman. Uh, I'm part of a, a, a labor uh, placement organization. I work for them called Man Ready, and I'm filling in. I guess I'm a scab, um, but I'm the host, and uh, I guess I'm main host, and I'm also doing the other hosts as well. I should get that's double. I should do get two d- double job for that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess for the show, um, I'm hosting it and I got to introduce here. We got, uh, the return of a guy named Techhead Terry. Uh, we have a film, a short film about laughing, about laughing and, uh, and also a couple of fake shows. And now let's send it over to the real fake shows, which is me as well. Maybe double pay though. Honestly. All right, so it's me here again with the real fake shows. Um, I guess it uh, says here for the intro for this one that a lot of these religious people nowadays are getting themselves really heavily involved in politics, and this guy, Pastor Greg, with Chosen Generation Radio, is no exception. We've pranked him a couple of times. He's a very far-right Christian-type individual, and this week we had him on to speak with Matt Cheese. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to The Wrap. Uh, I'm your host, Matt C. Uh, today we're joined by a very special guest. Uh, he is Pastor Greg Young. He is a pastor as well as a host of Chosen Generation Radio, um, which is a, a wonderful a Christian program, but also a program that deals with conservative uh, issues as well um, and comes at those issues from a, a conservative perspective. Um, uh, pastor Young, thank you for coming on the program. It's my pleasure to be here. Thanks so much for inviting me to be with you today. Now, you heard the name of the program is The Rap. I am I'm a musician. I am a uh, hip-hop artist, a Christian hip-hop artist. There's a lot of Christian rock, obviously. Um, story, uh, long, you know, a storied history of, of Christian music. Creed! Uh, a big part of the church, obviously, but um, not so much Christian hip hop. But obviously, it's a new it's a new genre of music overall. Um, and and so I always start off by playing uh, a little bit of a song, a really short song, just to to start off. And this one is I a, love it is a is a, a Christian uh, song. So here here you go, sir. You can hear it, yeah. Yeah. Good. I get my strength from Jesus Christ, I think about him every night, I close my eyes, I still see light, if I was with him, I just might, if I was with him, I just might, if I was with him, I just might, I don't know what I'd do, my friend, if I was with him in the flesh. Yeah, I would show him respect, but it would be hard not to kiss his neck. They say kiss the ring, but I want to kiss the neck. Jesus Christ, the man is hot and miss me if you think he's not. And we all know what he has got in his pants. He has got a lot. Freestyle Freestyle time. Jesus has got so much in his pants. And I do not mean the back. I mean the front. I mean that he has a big, a hong ass dink for me. And I said, oh, 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 I'm just making noises now. Oh. Is he so on the call? Oh, 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 this is a shorter one. He probably has hung up by now. Probably after I mentioned the stuff about Jesus having the big dick. I did it. I didn't really say it outright, but I did infer that he had a big dick and that I quite possibly want to suck it. If he's still on the call, sir, if you are still listening now, please know that I do, in fact, think Jesus was bisexual. I read it somewhere, read that he was a size queen as well, read that he loved to suck and fuck big old dicks, and he was a sucker, fucker, fucker, sucker, fucker, fuck, fucker, sucker, fuck, fucker, sucker, fucker, fucker, ah, yeah. 
yeah yeah which is cool and everything but it's like it's weird that his whole religion now is all about sort of like hating against gay people and telling them that they cannot even get married and stuff and, and maybe that's not what his whole thing was but it's like some of the people who are using his word some of the people using his word are sort of sort of making their whole thing to make gay people's lives worse and just makes you wonder if they even know that jesus was a, like a fucking gay guy himself and not gay but bisexual and that he did in fact have 69s with guys and he actually sucked and fucked and it's like i mean if jesus the first guy ever why, he was fucking why are you then, if he was willing to why suck, are you he going was here fuck, with this like, man the fuck, you got a problem with it man who fucking cares about marriage like it's just some fucking bullshit we made sorry i i say why why are you playing that bro do you, you didn't like it would i bring you on my program i'd love to come on and well no but but and, and are you then, inviting me on? And then behave. I would come on as a guest any time if like you want to have me on. I, well, but I'm just trying to figure out why you would do something like that. You know, because what you don't know about my background, just so you know, I actually broke artists into holy hip hop 20 years ago. That's awesome. I did a, I did a syndicated cool. holy hip hop show. So can you help me out with five my, years with my, with my hip hop stuff then? Not, not, not with something like what you just did. I got gotcha. you. I do try to push boundaries and stuff a little bit. Well, I understand, but man, that was that was way. That was too far. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was a little r risque, though. <laughs> a little bit of those lyrics were risque. Um, but now let's head, send it over to the NEAS Film Center. Hey, it's me, uh, Larneman again in the film center. I'm here, I'm there. Um, uh, this week's film is about laughing. Who doesn't love to laugh? I certainly do. I love laughing. Sometimes in the lunchroom, uh, we'll have a good chuckle. Bill's got a lot of good jokes, but this is a film about laughing. It's called The Last Laugh. Roll it, film. I'm Lance Bips. I'm 41 years old and I've never laughed in my life. I've tried absolutely everything. I've read the funniest jokes known to mankind. I've looked at the absolute most hilarious internet memes of our whole generation. My friends even got me a comedy telegram from famous comedian Jerry Seinfeld from Seinfeld. Hello? Who's this? Jerry who? Oh, from the Seinfeld program? Yeah, sure, I have time to hear a joke. Yeah, honestly, sir, I could not tell you what the deal is with that. Thank you for calling. And when I couldn't do it in sobriety, I even tried smoking marijuana and watching Rick and Morty. But after 41 long years of no laughter, I finally saw something that cracked the code for me, folks. And in my 41st year on this earth, my me, Lance Bips, had my first laugh. Hello? 
Hey, Alex, I just saw the uh, judgment against you. I just wanted to say, ha, 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 Oh, man, I love films so much. I wish that they were always um, on TV and the movies. Uh, okay, let's uh, send it over now to the Fun Bunch Prank Collective. Shouldn't they do at least the Prank Collective stuff? They're, they're even? Okay, this guy Techhead Terry's back, I guess. I assume from context clues that he loves tech. And it says in the song we'll play now. Hi. Oh, hello. Am I on? Am I on there? Yeah. Hey guys, hey, how you guys here. doing? Yeah. How you guys doing? How are you? All right. I'm, a, I'm just um, getting some sausage, some some pie sausages, look. Well, you guys, this is really exciting for me. Though you guys just seem to have sort of a bit of a tech uh, stream going on, sort of a tech show um, with the emphasis on technology and things like that, and that's very exciting for me. I'm a, sort of a tech head. The song will play now. Nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed you, you were mentioning that you charge your blinds up. I mean, come on, what the heck? Are you kidding me? What, what's next? Do you know what I mean? And it's cool. Come to on, me, if I you're love... a tech head, you want these blinds. Okay, so... <laughs> you want to be sitting about... <laughs> Tell me about them, please. Tell me about them. Tell me about these blinds and how do I get them and how does the technology work on them? How does they make... Because blinds, in my opinion, blinds is, is pretty not need for technology. But you want to be able to sit in your bed in the morning and you <laughs> Effectively, um, you can get a module for this blind that allows you to connect it through Z Wave. And you know, a, Z -wave module. You know what... a module, a yeah. module. You got a cool way of talking. Do you... where are you from in America? I'm I'm from the UK. Ah, that's why British. I'm. That's what I'm hearing. Both British. Where yeah. are you from in British? In Britain. Um, in England. Um, yeah, we're from uh, London, effectively. Effectively, I'm a okay. Very, very cool. I love the way you talk. It's uh, so different than me. But the cool thing is that there's the the uh, a language that is sort of a universal language is the language of technology. And what kind of mics are you working with, by the way? Boy, carry the watch. Um, John's using his Sony headphones. Ah, uh, that's. That's not great. You should be using it at <laughs> um, your own. At your own. <clears throat> I'm yeah. using my Astro A50 wireless headphones with the obviously like the, the mic that you can see on the camera. It's not bad though, but it's it, I I find it's better to have like I'm using in ears right now, just kind of standard on the headphones. But my microphone, probably everyone can hear it, sounds a lot better than yours, is because it's a oh. Shure. Oh, oh. It's a, I'm using a Shure SM7B. <laughs> this is. I see how it. Is. Well, I mean, it's it's irrefutable. People are listening put, with their I'm ears. I'm putting it in the pen. I'm putting it in the pen. Yeah, toss it. Toss it. No, no, no. It's okay for, like, just messing around with your friends or whatever if you're doing your video gaming or whatever. But when you're doing a broadcast, you want to have broadcast quality stuff. I've got sausages I can show you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Little ones. Oh, little yeah. mini sausages. Those look yeah. all wrinkled up. Those are, yeah. I'll tell you what, that look like a freaking, look like a, uh, hang on, I got a good one here. This looks like, that look like a, like an 85-year-old freaking dang micro penis. Watch. Basically, what we do is we just sit here chatting shit for ages and taking the piss out of things, in it. What is yeah. chatting shit and taking this? So we're shitting and pissing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're shitting and <laughs> pissing over this. Uh, that's great. What? Oh, Sab left. Sab left. You didn't like that kind of salty language. He didn't language. want shit and piss. He doesn't he want did not like that kind of salty <laughs> language. Um, I should have uh, taken a photo of this headphone. We were trying to. It's Sony. Um, uh, I haven't got Sony. it on me. Sony I like earbud. Sony. You know, Sony's yeah, we're trying a, to a good brand. Yeah, we take apart. Uh -huh. And um, and John likes to do everything himself. So I thought, oh, well, if you use the heat gun to to melt the glue a bit. Want so it the Sony WF one thousand XM four? Correct. Because... Yeah, the little earbuds. Yeah. Um, it's in my jacket now. I can't wait to go get it. Either way, man got the heat gun, put it on maximum, and it turned into a fucking blob of plastic. Well, of course. What 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 did you think was gonna happen? Yeah. <laughs> no, because I couldn't wait. Because it was taking ages to melt the adhesive, so we're like 600 degrees. So, so I, I, I had gone, I had gone back in the house to do something, and yeah. I said, "You come," and he goes, "Look what's happened!" What's oh happened? my goodness! And then, and this guy, and so, and he wasn't. And let me got... see, let me see if I got this right. And he wasn't even taking the piss. No, no. Ooh. And I've got one now, as you can see. I've got this last, this last headphone package. I've got obviously replacement ones now. 
I've only got one headphone because the other one is just a blob of plastic. Oh, John, you've gone and blobbed up his damn headphones, John. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you guys feel that technology has affected computers? In, in what sense? It's quite a broad question. Thank you. Go on, John. Take the lead, mate. What? What? You guys are I'm fun, just, man. You I'm guys just are a fun. bit. I'm just a bit. I'm just a bit like taken aback. Yeah, <laughs> that happens when I join Pause. No, people, people no, don't really uh, because I have like a true love for tech, and it comes through that like yeah. some people are like, oh, I love tech, and then it's like, but I really love it and Ooh, so my wow, energy okay. sometimes my energy towards technology sometimes is off-putting <laughs> so, to people because there's too so John's much off the table. we need I to just, find like, like does hp have an only fans yeah it, 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 honestly an only fans for me the a dream only fans would be somebody like showing like like the inside of a microphone, like they open it up and they show me the inside of it, and then that, and I'd be oh, like, God. Ah! You look so much better, mate. You can say it like that. Beautiful. Sab, 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 what's what's going on, Sab? Sab. And that's and that's what you do if you want to take the piss and you're shitting <laughs> yeah. shitting about, and if you're shitting about and taking the piss. Thanks, guys. See ya. In a bit. Bye. So what do you think about technology and the direction of technology, Mr. Rayner? You what? You what? You what? Wow, so great to have Terry back, I guess. I don't know, I assume they made a big to-do about it. It was a big deal. All right, let's head back over the real fake shows. All right, so this last fake show is a, the candidate for some type of school board in Arizona, a friend of Carrie Lake, and, and she was on this show called The Weekly Buzz. Well, I can only imagine. Hello, everyone. I don't know about you guys. I don't, I don't know if I, I know who you guys are, so oh. just if you want to be that. Sorry, I just was starting. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Never mind. Oh, I was literally saying, hey, everybody, and then you. It's all good. Um, Hello, everybody. Uh, oh, Is well, it live? Sorry. Oh, you just did it again. <laughs> um, No, 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 it's okay. It's not live. But um, yeah, we're just on it was the time constraints right. and everything. Um, uh, Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Weekly Buzz. I'm your host, uh, Jim Sweater, as always. Uh, today, we are joined by uh, she was a candidate in Arizona. Um, it, it remind me exactly what uh, office you're running for. I know that you're part of an education coalition with Carrie Lake in Arizona, um, but you're running for um, Superintendent, superintendent of public instruction. So it's education secretary for all intents and purposes. Sorry. My, okay, that makes sense. My apologies. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a fly that's um, buzzing that's uh, around in the office at the moment. Um, Warren, did you leave the uh, the window open? We have a producer that's like. Uh, I guess not the best producer or whatever. I think left the studio uh, window open last night and there's just like flies. Uh... <sighs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You, can you see them? No. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just do my best to ignore them then. Ridiculous. I'm sorry you're going for this. <laughs> uh, um, so Shiri, you are a, you're an advocate for now. How did you become somebody who was, uh, connected and working with Carrie Lake in, um, Is this a joke or something? What is what's going on? My apologies. Is this a joke? Sherry, you are working in favor of school choice. Oh, hang on. It's just landed right on my nose. Okay. I don't have time for this.
All right, everyone. Well, that's it. That's it. that's the end for our Larniment. I wonder if I'll be back next week. That's the life of a of a labor guy. I could be gone. I could be there next week. Rolling Stone. I am. Head over to the Patreon, though, folks. They got a great fake interview with this guy. What's his name? I know it. Lauren Culp. I seen him in the news. He should have been on the main episode. And it's something to do with eating eating chicken. Thanks so much for having me. My name's Larneman Smith. Good morning, caller. You're on the road to Concord with Joe. Oh, hi. Is it me? Yes, it's you. Oh, hi. Uh, my name is Officer Steve. I noticed that uh, your employee, uh, Steve, was not in today. Uh, mm-hmm. He didn't show up uh, for his shift. I, I found that to be sort of suspicious. But furthermore, I was uh, curious why you would employ somebody with um, potential criminal ties. Wow. Steve actually owns the place. So who are you then, sir? So who are you then? What Are you trespassing? Folks, this is another one of Steve Nichols's little bots that likes to call in. This is a Richard. Oh, Marks I'm a bot. Style. Oh I'm yes, a, I'm a bot. Now. Yes, and, you are. Wait, do, do you guys do 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 you guys even understand what bot means? Bot is not a real person. I'm a real person speaking to you right now in the flesh. A uh, 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 boy, a uh, boy in blue. That call has been ended. This is another one of the reasons. This this goes to what I opened the show with. This is why I don't allow these people on. If you don't listen to Freedom with Steve Nichols, you have not run into this guy. If you have listened to him, then you've probably heard, he calls himself Officer Steve. He's got a history. He has made accusations and done things on Steve's show, said things that if he was an actual police officer, he'd have been fired. And yes, he's a bot. Remember, uh, definitions, they can have more than, one word can carry more than one meaning. And, And if you don't believe that, just go misspell your on on Facebook and you'll understand. Somebody will be happy to explain that to you.